Hi, this is Tracy. I'm your AE at Sierra Pacific Mortgage. I've got some exciting news. I think it's exciting because when it came out 2010-ish, uh, it really made our life difficult. Guess what they got rid of? They got rid of continuity of obligation. I don't know about you, but I think that's great. It's back to the old world. Now, I couldn't remember what the old world was. Um, I didn't it's been so long. What was life like before continuity of obligation? Well, now, let's say, let's see, what's my example? Husband purchases a home. He's the only one on it, and now he wants to refi. But he doesn't want to be on the loan. He wants his wife to be on the loan. He can add her to title, take an application, and refi in her name. No longer does she have to be on title 12 months, living in the house, making payments, all those little overlays. No longer. So that's, I think, really exciting. But let's say they want to do a cash out. He adds her to title. You have to wait six months. Just like if it was a purchase, you purchase a home, you have to wait six months to do a cash out. Same thing. In all these cases, you need to follow your DU findings. For instance, um, this is straight from Fanny. Fanny says on a refi, if a borrower is on the note, then you need to get a rating. Okay. If the borrower is not on the note, which our person just added to title would not be on the note, then you don't have to get a rating for them. But we do need a rating on to prove that there's no bailout. So if they're if they're uh, 60, 90 days past due, whatever, and they're putting it in the wife's name just to get out of trouble. That's not going to work. It never did work before, and it's not going to work now. Okay, so also I put an explanation in the email below as to why they made these changes. And pretty much, you can read it, but the bottom line is because they've got other, the things that were happening back then aren't going on anymore, or so they think. Well, I'm not saying they are going on. But um, they're not going on anymore. And also, they put in other things that would stop this, these things from happening in their guidelines so they no longer use it. So I'm just going on and on about a subject I'm so excited about. But I wanted you to know, also down below, I did put the old guidelines. And the reason I put those in there is not to confuse you, but to let you know, read those. They don't exist anymore. We don't have to follow them. So look at your DU findings. Make sure it's not a bailout, and let's do some loans. Until the next video, thank you for using Sierra. I know you have a choice.